So, how can you record and edit sound for free on a Mac running Snow Leopard if GarageBand is more than you need? QuickTime Player 10 will record the sound and save it as a movie file, but not as a sound file. And it's not a very smart solution for editing the result afterwards. In the Applications Utilities folder, you have the much more versatile QuickTime 7. So you can open a new Finder window, Apple N or it's in the File menu. Scroll down, or I can just type UT, and it comes up to Utilities. And then the right arrow to get into the next column, and then a Q, and there it is, QuickTime Player. I can drag it into the dock if I want to have it there to find it easily next time. Or I can just double click, and if I hold down the Option key while I double click, that closes the window that it was in. I open a new audio recording, and see then that it's Control, Option and Command, the bottom three keys and an N, so I'll do that. I see that the level indicator is picking up my voice, not very loudly, but it's there anyway. You can see the little green signs now and then. At the moment the monitor is turned right down, so I can't hear what the computer's hearing, I can only guess. I'd much rather actually hear it. If I just turn up the monitor, I'll get the most awful feedback. So I plug in headphones so the Mac doesn't hear what I'm hearing. I click on the record button, and there we go. It might be speech. It might be singing. Or it might be an instrument. I can either click the black button or I can press the spacer bar to finish the recording. The QuickTime player has already saved the file on the desktop and called it audio.move. So it's a, a movie which consists only of sound. I could add video afterwards if I wanted to, but all we want to do is to record the sound here. The free audio editor we're going to use doesn't recognize the movie format, so we have to export it instead into an audio format. And we can see there it's export, Apple E, Command E, and I can choose a lot of different audio formats and video formats. I'll choose IF, which is the audio interchange file format, the, the Mac's native audio format. And look at the options. I don't want it compressed, Linear PCM is the uncompressed form. I want it stereo, of course. Uh, CD quality, 44.1K. Normal quality, and 16 bits. Uh, preview, I can hear it if I want to. I'll give it a name that means something. David Recording Demo. Let's save it on the desktop there. And there it is. I can bring it over to these other files that I've put there ready to use. If I've got my synthesizer plugged in, then I can switch from internal microphone to line in, open a new document, start recording, remembering always to bring up the volume, otherwise I won't hear anything. And while I've got the line in active, I can also plug the cable into my record player or cassette player. I can also use a high quality external mic, but these days the Mac mic has become so good that I don't usually bother. Another way of getting sound is from a CD. I just drag it to the desktop and it creates an IF file. Eject the CD by clicking on it and then Command E for eject. We can trash these movie files. We've made 
highest of the ones we need to keep. So now I think we've finished with the quick time player. We can simply quit that with Command Q, Apple Q. I call it Apple. It always used to be an Apple on the key. It's now called Command CMD, or the sign for the place of interest as well. And we're ready to edit. I've been looking at a new free audio editor, which is just called Audio Editor. It comes from China, evidently. We get all the hardware from China. It's new to be getting software from China. The tutorials on their website are very clear, but lots of people still like to see it in video. It can only handle one file at a time. If you want to do multi-tracking, then you need something more advanced like GarageBand. If you've downloaded it from the internet, put it in the Applications folder. Click on the desktop, Command N to open a new window. Applications. And then we can just start to type the name. Oh. I've got Audacity. Got the audio book builder and here we've got the audio editor. I can just double click on it here or I can drag it to the dock with all my other audio programs. Normally you can drag a file to the icon of the program that you want to open it. This one doesn't seem to work. So we simply click in the dock. The program opens. It's just got the one window. Nothing fancy. Apple alternative H to hide the other programs. And then in the file menu, command O for open. The new command is always greyed out. I guess it's just there as part of the interface, but this program doesn't actually use it. You don't create a new document in this editor, you edit existing ones. So let's see what the program recognizes on the desktop. B as you are M4A, that's the AAC compression. MP3, of course. It's offering us to open a WAV file, but I found that it crashes if I do that. They're going to support these other formats later. It doesn't recognize the movie format, and it thinks it doesn't recognize the eyes. So let's take this birds and harp. It's uh, just over a minute. It's not incredibly fast to open, but it's okay. It's got lots to think about. I can play to, to check what it sounds like with the play button or I can use the spacer bar. I discovered by playing around with it that you can also drag a file to the window. It closes the existing one and opens the new one. And there we go. It might be me. It might be me. And then you see it can actually open this IF format, which it said it couldn't. It didn't think it did. It may be that there are problems which they haven't solved, but it seems to be fine for now anyway. If we want to look at one particular area in more detail, we can drag on the zoom bar all the way up to really quite some detail. Each marker is one second. Other programs let you zoom in much more, but this is a freebie. You see, we've got two timelines the master at the top which doesn't change and shows you the whole time where you are in the whole piece and the working one where you can zoom in and out so that you can make quite accurate choices <laughs> 